so tonight I'm going out to my friend Mary's 70th birthday. So it's me and four other women. We're all around the same age, over 65 to 75 years old. And um, so I was chatting with somebody a couple of months ago and she said, you know, I never have anywhere to dress up special for. And I said, well, you could always, you can make anything special. You could just go out for a nice dinner with a group of friends and do yourself up like you were going out for a really special occasion. Like perhaps wear a dress that you previously wore to uh, a wedding or, and, and then it just hangs in the closet, right? So why not organize a little night out with your friends even if you don't have a date go out with your girlfriends and um have a good time so we did oh by the way i am using um trini it's uh very light it's a very lightweight base and uh, i've been using it lately anyway that's what i'm putting on my face i did have some makeup on today and I didn't even take it off because sometimes it makes a nice base to put your makeup on something you've had on all day. Anyway, getting back to this night on the town. Um, so then we found out it was my friend's 70th birthday and we were like, oh, well, we have to make it like a birthday party. And so uh, we got her some goodies and we'll probably drink some bubbles. Now what I'm using is this Milani supercharged. It, it's like an eye brightener. You can wear it by itself or you can wear it under your concealer. Now usually I have been going very natural lately with my makeup, but today I want to make it a little bit more glamorous I mean, who knows? I might even apply some lashes. I think that's kind of bright enough for now under my eyes. I I might rethink that. Oh, what else do I have? Now, this is something I bought years ago and it, it's still fine. It's a clay depot stick and it's way too expensive. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you don't have to get this for a little cover-up stick. I mean, it is good. They have good colors. So I'm just applying this where I need a little bit more help. But if this is above your budget, you can always just use your regular concealer, like the one that you use under your eyes, perhaps, as long as it matches. Next, hmm. I think I'm going to do a powder bronzer today. I'm just feeling it. I've been using cream blushes and contours lately. I go back and forth. Um, people ask me what's best, a cream blush or a powder blush. Well, powder products aren't like they used to be. There's so many more hybrids now. Um, they're not, many of them don't use talc anymore so that's good they're not drying they're just made of different modern ingredients all right using my contour brush it's a nice shape i'm just and i'm going really quick because i actually don't have too much time so just putting it around my forehead this is how i'm wearing my hair you might look at this and say Oh my goodness, do something with your hair. But I think when you do a pretty glamorous face, you can do a simple hairstyle. You can scrape it right back in a little bun and then just do some nice bright makeup. You know how JLo sometimes does that tight bun and then she does, you know, gorgeous glossy lips and those nice lashes not comparing myself to JLo at all. <laughs> oh no. 
Okay, next I am going to wear a nice bright blush because I'm going to wear a pretty bright outfit. So if I didn't do this, I might just look a little bit lost, you know? Gotta make my face pop. When I do my blush, I like to pop up my cheekbones a bit. It looks weird, but I don't know. That's just, it's just what I do. Put a little hair. I'm starting to sweat a bit. I might have to go down and alter the air conditioning. Okay. I can always add more blush when I'm finished with the whole look. I think I'm going to do my eyebrows next. I'm going to use Silvering Beauty. It's a powder for the eyebrows. It comes in very light gray or a darker gray. And I like it because, you know, it's not taupe, it's not brownish. It's a nice silvery color. Just trying to make it not look too dark. Sometimes I tend to do that, try to even them out. My, uh, my other eyebrow is thinner than this one, so I have to try to get them even. So I make this one a little bit higher and make it a little bit wider here. But don't get too crazy with this stuff. That's not too bad. Okay, now I'm going to like shellac them into place. I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a brow pomade. What's it called? Brow Freeze. It's called Brow Freeze. I'm going to use my disposable spoolie because they get pretty gummed up. So if you use a nice one and not a disposable one, I know you kind of ruin it. So see what a difference that makes? It makes your brows look nice and soft. It gives you a little bit of a boy brow, which I really like. I did used to tweeze my brows when I was a teenager, but I was lucky they, they did come back after my assaulting them for years. Okay, so that's what I do. And then I actually press them into shape. I think that's okay. It's not perfect, but I'm kind of in a hurry. I had a nap um, before starting my makeup, before showering. And um, I do love a nap before I go out for an evening. Do you? It only has to be 20 minutes or half an hour. Might have been a bit longer than that. But, um, you know, then when I go out, I'll, I'll probably start the night with uh, an espresso martini. Might wake me up a bit. To be honest with you, I've never had an espresso martini. Can you believe it? Um, I've had a dirty martini, but I've never had um, an espresso martini. And people seem to really like them. So who knows? I'll be... I'll be swinging from the chandelier. Me and the girls swinging from the chandeliers. We're gonna have a good time. This is a rosy-ish color. Now, today, I'm, I'm using some older palettes that I don't even think they make anymore. So I'm not going to tell you every color that I'm using and I might, well, I'll try to find the equivalents that they sell now, okay? But this, I wasn't even going to make a video today, so that's why. This is a rosy color. It's kind of like a light to mid-tone rose because I find it perks my eyes up. Plus, some of my outfit this evening has some really nice rosy color. You know, I have these palettes that I've made up over the years, and I, I just kind of take my own eyeshadows sometimes they're single ones and I pry them out and I stick them in this palette and I'm going to use this plummy shade I think that's going to work really nice
the color of this one is written on the back so when I post this video I, I'll let you know what this is now you see how quick I'm working this is a nice big fluffy brush this is from my own line of makeup brushes and honestly it, it's my favorite color in the whole thing and my my friend Christine said uh, my friend Christine, I've known her for about 45 years or 40 years. I did the makeup for her wedding day. And she is crazy about makeup. In fact, after her, I did her makeup for her wedding, she said, I would love to learn to do makeup and do what you do. So I trained her and she became part of my makeup team and she's a lovely person and anyway the reason i'm telling you this is because uh, she contacted me recently and she said have you seen this new look that everyone's doing it's a doe-eyed look and to tell you the truth i don't really go along with trends um i know what looks good on me and that's that this one is pretty good for my hooded eyes i'm i'll show you a little close up just kind of contouring my eyes down a bit. I'm not dragging them out sideways though, because I don't like that look. So this is kind of a doe-eyed look because it's kind of rounded. And I remember that used to be a big look in the late 70s, early 80s. That's what I used to do. This is just the same color. I'm, I'm just adding a bit more. I don't know if I'll have time to get to my fake lashes. We'll see. Now then, shall I put something under my eyes? I think I should. I think I should put a little something under my eyes. And maybe, maybe I'll just do the same color, uh, but a very little bit. And we'll see how that looks because it's a doe-eyed look. And I think that calls for putting something under here. Taking it out to the side, but not dragging down. I think that looks a bit too heavy, but it's okay. I can always take some off. Now I'm adding another color. I'll show you which one it is. It was from a Christian Dior set. And um, yeah, Christian Dior set. So I'm gonna put this here just to upsweep my eyes a little bit. And if you've seen me do my makeup before, you know, I do this little thing here, which is almost like a, a V on the side. That's more like a U on the side because it's not a sharp angle. Now I'm starting to spill down here a little bit, but that's okay. I didn't put too much concealer on so I can add some. And now let's do some here. Same thing, same thing, the other side. So anyway, let's go back to that dinner. So I will be having, I think, an espresso martini to start to wake me up a bit. Although talking to you guys is waking me up a bit from my nap. And um, I won't drink much more than that. Sometimes I just have a cocktail to start and then I have Pellegrino or Perrier with a twist of lime. Depending on what I'm eating for dinner, I might have a very cold glass of white wine because it's summer right now. All right, now I'm going to, the nice thing about these fluffy brushes is you can just clean them off, add a little bit more white powder, and then even clean that off. I don't want a lot of white powder. And then I'm just going to Kind of go around the perimeter, blend, blend, blend. Now I need a nice highlighter. So, okay, this is a fantastic one. It's um by NARS. This replaces, I did have one by MAC called Vanilla and it was such a perfect color. And you know, it always happens. They stop making them. And this one's just beautiful though. This 
this is really similar if not if not better than that one okay liner i'm going to use again a very dark plum this one here i'm trying to think where i got that one i think it was an old trish mcavoy but I tell you, a lot of these companies have stopped making really nice singles because so many companies make palettes. Like you can get a Morphe palette with all these colors in it. Or Mac do a nice palette full of plums also. And you could totally do this look using that. So I just wet this actually, sorry, I didn't tell you that because I was chatting. And you can of course use black eyeshadow. If you use a dampened eyeshadow, it's a little softer than a pencil. And I'm using this brush. This is also from my own line of brushes and it's a nice chisel shape. I use that for my eyebrow two let's give the lashes a little curl nice nice i haven't worn fake lashes in such a long time i don't know how they're going to feel one of the last times i tried to use them they didn't feel good so i took them off but it could have been a fluke or it could just be how my eyes are now i find that as i get older my needs are changing okay this is a new bobby brown mascara that they sent to me it has a, a great big brush which i like but as you pull it out of the tube it it doesn't scrape off um mascara so that's why you saw me take some remove some with the tissue because i i really don't like clumpy lashes I know that's that's like a look for some people, but no, 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 I don't like them. What I forgot to do just now is normally I apply a layer on the top of my lashes and then sweep them up. So next time you do your mascara, you can try that. So you put a layer on top and then a layer over underneath to, to lift them up and your lashes will be like twice the size it's a good trick um so i have tried this before i've given it a test and it's a really good mascara now i tried one of bobby brown's mascaras about two years ago or, oh well it's jones road okay so i don't want to confuse you jones road is bobby brown's new company and uh, they have some good products. Some I'm not totally on board with, but some are really good and I do love that mascara. Okay, lips. This is a lip pencil from LA Girl. I can't talk to you right now, sorry. <laughs> Now what I'm doing is I'm smudging it around a bit because this pencil is waterproof. So if my lipstick fades while I'm eating and drinking, hopefully this pencil will still hold up. This is a real cheapie, but the money I save on that, I can spend on my more expensive Ilia lipstick this is such a beautiful color oh my goodness i need my readers on oops showing a little chest there um i'll write the color down below okay i'm just going to clean up a little bit under my eyes that's nice and i always keep a damp sponge handy too not wringing wet just a little bit damp 
This is almost like having an eraser standing by. Just a little bit. That makes a big difference. Now, I don't like to put a lot of concealer on the outside of my eye, of course, because that's where you smile, that's where all your wrinkles are, but which is why I'm using this sponge too. This is where we need it most of all. And if you've seen my some of my videos, you, you'll know that I always tell you to focus on this area and then just feather out here. You hardly have to do any there. There, that just made a nice clean up. Now to give me a little extra dewy glow, I'm going to put a little Bobbi Brown Miracle Balm over the top. Um, I like Miracle Balm. Well, I was going to say blush. It's not quite a blush. I mean, maybe it's a blush when you want very, 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 very minimal color there's really not much color to it and it fades rather quickly but it, it does give a very nice dewy glow so it's almost like a perky colorful highlighter to me and i like the way it feels too okay so getting down to the wire here uh i'm going to put on these self stick lashes now I might need to leave you for a second, but here they are. They're from Kiss. I'll try to do it on camera. Let's see if they work. Okay, touch down. Now, do you see I'm putting them on underneath? Because that's how you're supposed to wear these. So I put them towards the edge. My eye's gone a bit blurry, but I think that's just from holding my eye open and I wear contacts. Okay, I can't feel it, which is nice. Now I just tried to pull another one out and <laughs> now, shoot, I destroyed it. I've had that happen before with lashes. I, I can't stand when that happens. Let's give it another go. Maybe if I use my fingers to pull it out. Eesh. Eesh. Ah, I think I destroyed that one too. Maybe if I just cut that little piece off. Okay, so as you see, it's not like super easy. Now I don't have much time. <laughs> Nothing like trying something new when you're in a hurry, right? So let's try this one on my other eye. That one looks pretty good, actually. Maybe it just needs more practice. I really think that's it. Even for a pro like myself. Okay, let's give it a go. Do we have touchdown? No, we don't. Uh-oh. All right, I'm gonna try it with my fingers. Let's try that. Okay. Shall I just leave it at one per side? Um, I don't think I need any more. You know, I think that's just enough to give me some lift in my hooded area, plus I don't have much time. So I'm going to run off, put my dress on, put some jewelry on and show you the finished look. See you soon. Okay, I'm back. So I was going to wear a pair of really blingy earrings and I still might, but I wanted to give these a shot first because I love clashing pink with orange. I remember years ago, it must have been about 25 years ago, I had this gorgeous eyeshadow from Lancome and one was fuchsia and one was bright orange. So these might work. And plus my friend Mary, she has such a sense of fun 
that um, now you see this is picking up on the orange and I think it's good because I'm wearing my hair so tight that I think I need a little something around here what do you think do you like them um, also uh, my bracelet my lovely husband got me this beautiful Emma's bracelet for my birthday as a special gift and there she is and I wear this a lot. I wear it with casual clothes and I'm just loving orange lately. <laughs> and, okay, wearing my David Yerman on the other. And, and that's it. hope you liked getting ready with me you made the whole process a lot more fun please see details of this makeup in the video description below like I said some of it is old makeup but I'll give you makeup that you can use to achieve this look okay so I'm off to meet the girls and I'll see you next time bye